Australian Week was recently launched at the Regency Hotel in Kuwait by Meet Livestock Australia and the Australian Embassy in Kuwait. Fatafi TV celebrity and Meet Livestock Australia Mina's corporate chef Tariq Ibrahim joined executive chef Christophe Buffil and the Regency's culinary team for an Australian flavoured week which will span over a period of one week. More in this report by Renoua Jabouri. The Regency Hotel Terrace was bustling with distinguished guests as they were given the opportunity to taste some of Australia's finest meat and Australian food products during a barbecue to launch Australia Week. The Australian Ambassador, His Excellency Robert Tyson, Livestock Services Manager Dr David Beatty and well-known Chef Tariq Ibrahim were all present at the barbecue. We have the safest meat in the world. We have the tastiest meat in the world, and we have a reputation that uh, will go way, 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 way far. People trust and love Australia meat for all of its value. We, we spend all the efforts that we can to uh, produce and share with the world uh, some of our wealth, which is Australia meat. Well, I, my, I work for Meat and Livestock Australia and I look after the livestock area. So anything to do with live animals coming to the Middle East region, Kuwait in particular, it's our biggest market, over 700,000 head of sheep per year coming into Kuwait. So this event's very important for us, or for Australian red meat in general, to try and promote the uh, clean, green, healthy uh, red meat product coming out of Australia. As one of the world's greatest food producing nations, Australia deserves and enjoys a reputation for excellence. It comes as no surprise that there is high demand and an ever increasing desire for the exceptional and trusted quality of Australian halal red meat. Furthermore, Australian meat is gaining more popularity as the quality of Australian livestock is proving to be of high quality, scrumptious and tasty. Actually, um, uh, honestly, honestly, I haven't had enough yet. I mean, I've ate like I've ate like two pieces already. Uh, I think the rib, the rib ones, and it's fantastic. Uh, I've never liked meat as much as today. It's amazing. It's the first time I taste Australian food, uh, but actually, they did a great job. I loved it. Australia has excellent, excellent red meat. Maybe the best in the world. Certainly, right up there amongst the best in the world. And I'm very, very pleased that we have this festival, food festival here this week in uh, Kuwait. To my knowledge, it's the first time we've done this, certainly the first time since I've been ambassador. And uh, I think it's, a, it's a, an interesting and, uh, and good initiative. And uh, we, the embassy, are doing it in conjunction with Meat and Livestock Australia in collaboration with the Regency. Renowned Chef Tariq Ibrahim offered guests some of his tips when it comes to purchasing meat. Always know where your meat comes from, be adventurous, try different cuts, cooking techniques and don't be afraid to ask your butcher for recommendations and be sure to purchase Australian livestock. The Australian Food Week, though relatively young, speaks volumes about the quality of Australian meat and livestock, which is bursting with flavour. From the Regency Hotel, I'm Gerard Jaburi reporting to you for the English News.